I'm Shay Russell for mining.com.au and joining me today is Mark Cooksey, the Managing Director of ABX Group. Mark, how are you? Uh, great to be with you, Shay. Now, Mark, ABX Group has a particularly exciting majority-owned subsidiary called Alcor. Now, I believe Alcor is working on a small reactor that is taking fluorine, waste fluorine, and turning it into hydrogen fluoride. Can you explain a little bit about how that happens? Yeah, so what it is is that uh, aluminium smelting requires a chemical, aluminium fluoride, to operate a smelter. And Australia doesn't produce aluminium fluoride despite us producing a lot of aluminium metal. So we're totally at the risk of imports. Now, fluorine is an expensive element. And what we're developing is a process to take a waste from aluminium smelting that contains a lot of fluorine and turn it back into aluminium fluoride, which then goes back to the smelters. So it solves a, an environmental problem and a strategic problem at the same time. Uh, now, this project is operating at a significant scale. You're not talking about running it at grams. You're doing this in the kilos. What does that mean for where this project is at right now? Yeah, so when you have a good idea for a new process, you, you normally start off pretty small, as you said, with grams or tens of grams or hundreds of grams. And we did that uh, you know, during 2020, 2021, into 2022, and showed that, look, the, this idea works in a chemistry sense. Uh, then, But then... Before you can build a commercial plant, you need to do it at progressively larger scales. So that's where now we've got some equipment that we ordered last year, it was delivered in September, you know, $50,000 worth, and that's allowing us to do experiments with 10 kilograms of raw materials. That's a pretty significant undertaking. You know, Doing one run basically sort of takes a week in, in preparation and execution and, and follow-up. Uh, now, uh, you've got some exciting results that are out. Can you please explain what these mean? Yes, one of the key things we're trying to achieve is, to, we call it yield, which means the percentage of fluorine you get out of the waste material. So ideally, you know, ideally you'd like 100%. Um, realistically, in any sort of commercial process like this, you're looking for 90% plus, And we're currently at 70%. So that's not bad. Uh, do need to get it higher. Uh, but we understand one of the key reasons why we think that's occurring. That's because the incoming uh, feed material has some large particles in it. And we'd recognise that in advance. And in fact, we've already implemented a solution to uh, grind that material finer. And we've already then run that material. Uh, we're just waiting for the results from that run. So this is sort of a stepping stone on where we're at. We're getting good results, but we've got a clear line of sight to continue improving them. Mark, this is quite an innovative approach, and I know the word circularity has been thrown around a lot in the mining sector. Very few companies seem to be actually doing this. Why do you think this is so important that you are basically turning industrial waste into hydrogen fluoride? Yeah, I think that's a really good point. It's Circularity is sort of easy to say, and we all agree that it's a good idea, but it's actually pretty hard to deliver in practice. Often it's, it's someone got a waste material looking for a solution. Where this one came about is we had a need for fluorine to make aluminium fluoride and we and we found the waste material source. So it's actually sort of easier to close the loop in that sense. Um, and then it's quite amazing that the source of the waste is an aluminium smelter, which is the same as the destination for the product. So it really is a circle uh, between the aluminium smelter and alcohol. Now, I might be thinking a bit too far into the future here, Tell me, is there a market for what you're producing here in Australia or would you be producing a material that's going to be exported? Oh, there's definitely a market here. Uh, so Australia produces, I think it's about 6% of the world's aluminium. So um, we then consume you know, a significant amount of aluminium fluoride. So the absolute plan is to produce aluminium fluoride here, um, mainly targeted at our aluminium smelters here, but also we'll be able to export it. I mean, it is, it is exported and traded around the world, so that's definitely an option as well. Now, Mark, before I let you run off today, you all know shareholders are waiting for what's next to come. So tell me, what can we expect from Alcor coming in the next quarter? The next quarter, yeah, look, it's continuing operations with this uh, called a Bath Pilot Batch Reactor, trying to get the yield up um, you know, beyond 70%, up towards 90%, and then it's about, okay, well, how do we turn this into a continuous pilot plant, which is really the last step before a commercial plant? Mark, I'm very excited to see what uh, ABX Group come up with. I'm quite passionate about the topic of circularity myself. So thank you very much for your time today and explaining what Alcor's been up to. Great. Thank you, Shane.